welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to do our second game from our series with the Chicago Cubs, featuring the New York Giants here. The Giants lost the last game for their second straight loss after winning 15 straight before that. Now they're two games behind the first place Chicago Cubs, so they're looking to get a victory today, of course. And let's see here. Yep, two games on the schedule. the Highlander, so pass play these games. You know, the Giants get a day off. Looks like the Philadelphia blank St. Louis Phillies three to blank St. Louis three to nothing, and the New York Highlanders defeat the Chicago first place Chicago White Sox four to three. So all three other Chicago team will lose today also. August, or September. Alright. Alright, so game two of the series between the Cubs and the Giants. Welcome to Polo Grass for today's game between Chicago and New York. Chicago has won 9 straight, and 9 of their last 10. New York has won 8 of their last 10. And Royal Box starts for Chicago. He's made 6 starts on the year and is more than 2 with an earned run average of 1.50. His first start against New York. He'll be opposed by Joe McGinnity for New York. He's made 6 starts on the year and is 5 and 1 with an earned run average of 1.53. His first start against Chicago. It's 72 degrees, wind speed 7 mph, in from center field. Pitching for New York, Joe McGinnity. Leading off for Chicago, left fielder, Frank Schultz. Alright, as you can see, Miss Max joins us again. Second game of our Sunday afternoon, September 3rd game. Decided to do another game since Miss Mag said she would co host another game. This results, we also, this game will be a little bit better than our last game. So it's going to be Ed Roebuck for the Chicago Cubs. 4 2 in the area of 1.50, so it's not going to be easy against Joe McGinnity with a record of 5 and 1 in the area of 1.53. He's probably been our best pitcher overall. Hopefully we can break our short two-game losing streak and get back our winning ways. And so beginning these on the mound, the computer guy said, record of 5-1, in the ERA of 1.53, 53 inch pitch, 46 hits, 1 homer, 11 walks, and 13 strikeouts. Points are hitting 230 against. So you'll line up for the Visiting Chicago Cubs will be Frank Schultz, Schulte, the left fielder bats first. It's like a similar lineup, except we have a different catcher this time. Looks like O'Neill is going to be the catcher. So batting second will be Maloney. That's Billy Maloney, the right fielder. Batting third will be the center fielder, Jimmy Slagle. And it looks like we have Evers in this time, so we can do the tinker to Evers, but we can't do the chance because Chance is not in the lineup, it's Hoffman now, so it's Tinker to Evans to Hoffman. <laughs> maybe maybe the next game we'll get Tinker's to Evers to Chance, so we'll see. So anyway, Johnny Evers is going to be the second baseman today, Hoffman I believe was the second baseman yesterday, but Hoffman will be the first baseman this game. Hoffman was the MVP of the last game with two RBIs. Anyway, so Evers is batting cleanup. So Tinker, 
Joe tinkers at shortstop. He bats fifth. Batting six will be the first baseman, Solly Hoffman. Batting seventh will be the third baseman, Doc Casey. Behind the plate today, batting eighth will be Jack O'Neill. Not the photo of him. And on the mound, batting ninth will be Ed Roebuck. So that's your lineup for the Ch visiting Chicago Cubs. So McGinney looks in for the sign from Bresley here. He has to wind up in the pitch. A base hit, and he'll get a double, possibly a triple. And Schulte gets starts off the Cubs with a bang with a leadoff triple. So Max is not too happy with that one. She's the third base coach for both teams. Giants fan through and through. So Maloney up now. RBI opportunity for him. 243 hitter. Eight runs batted in. 15 runs scored. 11 stolen bases. Four doubles and a triple. Let's check out Schulte as we think he knocks. So he's 398 now on the replay with six runs batted in. Three stolen bases. 446 on base percentage. So for the beginning, he looks in for the sign from Bresnahan. Here's the line up in the pitch. And it's going to be a base hit as the run comes in. Center fielder, Jimmy Slagle. So just like that, the Giants are top, I mean, uh, the Giants are down one nothing to the Cubs. So Maloney's on first now. One of the three, had 59 stolen bases on the season. So we're going to win so far in the replay, so we're going to go over close. 5% to try one more time. 86, I guess that's good enough because we don't want to throw it in too much. Too much error possible. So Slagle up now. 210 hitter, 16 runs batted, 16 runs scored, 4 stolen bases, and has 2 doubles. Rounder to the game. Oh, it goes kind of go all the way through. Basement, Johnny Everest. So 3 straight hits for that. Cubs, not the way McGinnity wanted to start. Johnny Evers up now, 261 hitter with eight runs batted in. Ten runs scored, three stolen bases. No, no extra base hits yet though. And wow, McGann's gonna make an error, so not a good start for the Giants at all, oh, as that's gonna load the bases. One run already in. So Joe Tinker up with the bases chuck full of Cubs. 358 hitter with two homers and 15 runs batted in. 13 runs scored. Five stolen bases. Three doubles and a triple. So McGinnity looks into the sign from Bresnahan. Here's the line to the pitch. Ball one high. And we're going to throw home 81% chance. We're going to try to get that lead run there. Yes. Double play percent. Uh, I think we're going to trade that. 98% chance. Yeah, we got to go for two. This early on. So, no, we're not going to throw home. Over the second for one, back to first. Double play. And run comes home. First baseman, Sully. Robin. There's Maloney scores. Pat Maloney scores run number two. Slagle will move over to third, but now there's two outs. So Washington Cleveland to score us in the second. Hoffman up now in the MVP from last game with two RBIs. He's hitting 304 with 13 runs batted in. Eight runs scored, two stolen bases, four doubles, and two triples. Call strike one. Now he at one. And it's going to be a base hit as run number three comes home. He's going to try for two, and he'll be in there. So Hoffman gets himself an RBI double. It's a 3 nothing move. So the Chicago Cubs are off to a fast start. Philadelphia leads St. Louis 1-0 in the second. So 
Michael Casey comes to the play now. He's in 253 with 12 runs that in. 13 runs scored, 5 stolen bases, 3 doubles, and 2 triples. Foul ball down the left field line. Count evens at 1. 2 and 1 to count. And another base hit as the run number 4 comes in. And Casey has himself a double 2. So an RBI double for Casey. 4 runs in. As Bresnian goes up and talk to McGinnity. Bra's going to go out and chat with him too. We break it up, go back to the dugout. So a 4 nothing lead for the Cubs. Still run on second too. So it's not over yet for the catcher O'Neill. Getting 292 and 24 at bats. Four runs batted in, two runs scored, two slow bases, and a double. Here's the windup in the pitch by McGinnity. This will fall in. Oh. As Donlin muffs it, allowing O'Neill to get this go to second. Ryan will come in. It's a 5 0 lead, so wow. So everything going wrong here in the first inning for the Giants. That's an error on Donlin, allowing him on the score. Second error, that's what second error, so only one of the runs is going to be earned. Well, that's a silver lining in that one, but unfortunately, they still count on the scoreboard. Philadelphia, speaking of scoreboard, Philadelphia leads St. Louis in the third to one nothing. So, the pitcher roll back, so. Okay, 130 on the season, three hits and 23 at bats. The run scored. Ball one. Two and another count. And this one, Marquez will make the catch. Six hits, two errors, after one half inning. Chicago by New York coming to bat. Pitching for Chicago and Royal Buck. Leading off for New York. Center fielder, Mark Donlin. So the Cubs sent nine men to the plate. Five of them score. Four of those run, five runs were unearned as the Giants were sloppy in the field, committing two errors. So Roebuck comes to the goes to the mound now with a five-run lead. Four and two record with a 1.50 ERA, 54 innings pitched, 39 hits allowed. It's not a lot of home runs, 16 walks and 17 strikeouts, and opponents are hitting a stingy 199 again, so tall task for the Giants. I know they are the we still the best hitting team in the in the uh, majors, so they'll have to show it today in order to get back to this 5 0 deficit. So the lineup for the hometown New York Giants is gonna be Mike Donlin, center fielder, will bat first. George Brown, right fielder, bat second. Batting third, Bresnan, the catcher. Batting cleanup, Dan McGann, the first baseman. Sam Verte is a left fielder, will bat fifth. Art Devlin, the third baseman, bat sixth. Bill Dowell, the shortstop, will bat seventh. Billy Gilbert, the second baseman, bats eighth. And on the mound, batting ninth, Joe McGinnity. So Donlin steps to the plate, hitting 381 with a homer, 15 runs bat in. He has scored 25 runs, 3 stolen bases, 5 doubles, and 4 triples. So O'Neill behind the plate is a little bit of a downgrade as he's only a 7 range and on um, his uh, only average, so he may try to steal if he can get a runner on. Donald's going to hit one to the right. Right fielder. All on his under, for out number 1. Right fielder George Brown up now. Hitting 292 with Homer 18 runs batted, 14 runs scored, two stolen bases, four triples, and no doubles. So he'll do a one-up block. Catcher, Roger, Bresnahan. Brings up Bresnahan. Hit 391 with 11 runs batted in, 22 runs scored, five doubles, and two triples. 529 on base percentage. Ball 
here is ball one. Count evens at one. And if we base it up the middle, there's my count for seven. So the runners on first and second, one down. Dan began. Good hitting first baseman is hitting 292 with 27 runs batted in, 13 runs scored, four stolen bases, three doubles, and five triples. On base percentage of 414. Strike one, swinging the miss. And it's going to be a ball hit to second. Lead to the pitcher, over second for one, back to first, double play. No errors. After one complete, Chicago 5. After one pull, it's the Cubs five, the Giants nothing. Boston and Detroit are scoreless in the fourth, and then you're in the big action. So Schulte up now. Triple to start the game off for the Cubs. Set the pace for the inning. And then he'll lace a single up the middle. So he's two for two now. Maloney up now. Also single his first time up. Round ball to Devlin. Over second one. Back to first. Double play. So Giants turn two. So two outs and nobody on for Stagel. Single his first time up. Cardinals and the Phillies are tied at one and four. And that's going to be a base hit to right. So the Cubs already have eight hits off of the game. He's getting not sharp today. So Ever's up now. Vernon safe on air his first time up. Ball one. And he's going to be off of the pitch. And Stagel will be in there with a stolen base. Number five on the year. Vernon scoring position now for Ever's. And he's going to try to. Off on pitch it look like. So we have two and two to count now. Pop it up to left. That one will give with chase, but it's out of play. Not that break the old line foul. And it's gonna be a base hit. Chance in here. I'm gonna have Sam Mertes try to throw him out. Why not? Just cut up and throw it a second. Out chance. What is it? Let's cut up. Mr. Brody, is it? Hello, Mr. Brody. I'm gonna cut it up and try to throw him out a second. Let's try that. I think a much better percent chance there. Cut it off and. No, you can't get Evers. Martin comes in and it's now a 6 number. So Tinker up now. Drive into a double play his first time up. Strike one. Gilbert will throw him out for out number three. After one and a half, Chicago six, New York zero. Left fielder, Sam Mertes. So the set, centers lead the Naps, three to nothing in the third. Sam Mertes is up now. 231 hitter with homer 10 runs batted in, 16 runs scored, six stolen bases, four doubles, and two triples. He's going to pop one up to short. Tinker's under it. He'll make the catch for out number one. Art Devlin. So to bring up Art Devlin. 279 hitter with 17 runs batted in, 16 runs scored, three stolen bases, two doubles, and two triples. Ground ball. Not much of Liner down the right field line. Wow. So 0 2 the count. Devlin could be in the hole. And it's like he's going to fly out to right. And now Bill Dolan. Oh, two outs now, sorry. Dolan up now. 
242 hitter with a homer and 21 runs batted in. 18 runs scored, two stolen bases, two doubles, and three triples. He's going to hit one solidly to right. Chicago 6, New York 0. Well, after two full of 6 0 Cubs, the media will face Hoffman, Casey, and O'Neill, and everybody gets on the pitcher robot. It's one for one, make it two for two. Will at least a single to the left. He's going to try for two, and he'll be in there with a double. Casey now, he doubled his first time, so second double, I believe, for Hoffman. And Casey, who also doubled his first time up. Hoffman plate, ball one. So he had a fly ball to the center, John Lindsay makes the catch. Hoffman's back to second. And O'Neill singled to center his first time up, not in a run. Five yard for the years, it gets from back to play. We take this one, so we go back out of play. And it will for strike one. It's Brigham Brooklyn, or tied at two in the third. And that's going to be a single as Devlin makes a poor play on that one. So we're running out the corners with a one down. We roll off the pitcher. Fly ball to right, and Mertes goes back, and it's going to be a foul ball out of play. The pitcher helps himself out with a single, knocks in a run, and he'll pop in a score with a seventh run, so Giants not having a good day. Probably their worst game ever so far, so at least in our history play. Giants know how the other teams usually feel. <laughs> so Schulte up now, two for two, tripled and single. It's going to be a short day to begin here. Let's see who's in the whole time. Just that Elliot. So definitely one thing I don't like about this dead ball stuff, at least if not for the Giants, is they only have one leader. And they have to bring it to the starter. Second baseman, Billy Gilbert. Cleveland has pulled ahead of Washington 4 3 now in the fourth. Billy Gilbert up now, 228 hitter with seven runs batted in, nine runs scored, and three doubles. We'll draw a walk. A good start to the third inning. McGinnity. Cincinnati is got a 42 lead over Boston in the fourth. The pitcher McGinnity up now. I think that there. 227 hit with an IBI. A little hit away. Good hit run. I think I'm going to do a hit run here. Let's try a hit run. See so if we can get some going. At least they stay out of the double play by the way. The field comes up the second half of the field of choice. 6 3 on the putout. So Dominant up now. He's over 1. Over his scoring position. Strike 1. 
fly ball hit the center. Slate will hit the catch grab number two. Brown up now. Watch his first time up. Ball one. We'll go to second, hold the first, and that'll be it. No, I said, oh, no, wait, hold on. Brown safe at first. As Hoffman drops it, so three there. Second chance here for the Giants here in the third. Bresnahan up now. Single his first time up. We can capitalize on the error and foul ball. So one on one to count. One two. And it's gonna be a base hit by Bresnahan. So Bresnahan is able to get a single and drive home the first run for the Giants. So seven to one lead now. So capitalize on the error by Hoffman. So again up now. Run into the pitcher his first time up. Nice to attack on at least another run. One on one to count. Two on one. Count evens at two. And this is going to fall in for a base hit. The run comes in. President holds it. Oh, President's going to go to third. So two runs in now. So that error is going a little bit larger as the second hundred the run comes in. Scores. So runs at the corners with two down for Mercades. Pop the short his first time up. Where they get another one. Nice scratch across another one. And nope. One error. Winds out. Chicago 7. New York 2. The Giants do put, put up a two spot and after three pull, trail at 7 2. Slagle up now, 2 for 2. Strikes him out. First, first strike out of the day from Kennedy. Ever is up now, one for two. And he'll waste a base hit, second of the day. Brown's unable to handle it, and Evers is going to take second on the bobble by Brown. So, three errors on the Giants as their defense is last couple games is proving to hurt them. Tinker up now, he's over two. Out on second. Ball one. Counting wins at one. Two and one. And Everett's gonna try to steal third, and he is gonna make it. Everett gets his fourth stolen base of the year. The Cubs doing everything right today. Tinker over two on the day. He'll line one to. Round one. Ooh. Yeah. Goes from the shore out as the run comes in. So Tinker gets himself an RBI. I feel his choice as ever scores. A big stolen base there for Evers gets the run home. Miss Magsy Mags. So Hopper two for two on the day. Round out to Gilbert for out number one wrong, one, 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 one error, error after three, three and a half. Chicago eight, New York two. Cubs tack on another one. It's eight to two now. That one up over for one. So we will throw over the chance. Go down the short stop over for one. He's going to get one to right. Maloney's right there for up number two. Billy Gilbert up now. Walk his first time up. And this time he'll be single to right as third baseman. Casey is unable to get to it. Poor play by Casey on that one. By six, yeah, I can't 
you see it. So I'm going to give you the now, all for one. I'm going to do another hip punch here. Let's try that again. Give me a scan. No runs. One minute. No runs. I have to give you two outs, but. Chicago 8, New York 2. Cincinnati meets Boston 7 3 at the 6th. And here the Cubs meet the Giants 8 2. Yeah. Casey's 1 for 2 on the day. We'll hit one back to begin the game. Throw over to Dan for our number 1. We'll deal 2 for 2 on the day. So again, this time we're going to get a cover for our number 2. So 2 up and 2 down. Cub fifth. Boston Detroit are tied at two and nine. So we're all back up now, all one for two. And he's gonna pop around to Gilbert. Shouldn't be able to make the play on this one. No runs. And he does. No hits. No errors. After four and a half. Chicago eight. New York two. So the first one, two, three inning for the Cubs today. Don Lynn up now, all for two. He's gonna get one to the right. Rangers under it makes the catch for after number one. Brown, up for one. He's going to get going here, pop it up first. Stockton makes the catch for after number two. Pittsburgh leads open, three to two and eight. Bresnahan up now. He's hit a couple of singles. RBI. And uh, there. Oh, what's going on here? We get an ejection here. Ooh, looks like he argued. So Roback looks like he gets ejected. Big Jeff, Pepper. What happened there? Oh, so he was not happy about that walk and gets ejected. He was pitching. Wow, that could be a break for the Giants there. As Big Jeff, Pepper. <laughs> Gotta love the nickname, Jeff. Not small Jeff, but big Jeff Pepper comes into the game. 2.25 ERA. One save. Four innings pitch, five hits allowed. Wow. So apparently, did not like the call there and gets tossed out of the game. So the line on Robach is 4.2 thirds innings pitched. Four hits allowed, two runs, none of them earned, and three walks, and he's responsible for the base runner on first. So Robeck not happy about that one. So let's see if the Giants can capitalize off that. Two down and one on first. The game is one for two. Ball one. Two another count. Fly ball to right and out of play. Left. Line up for third. Now do it. After five, Chicago eight, New York two. So one out away from being qualifying for the win, and he is not able to get a robot because he's going to be ineligible for the win after getting ejected. You know, Cincinnati leads Boston eight to three in the seventh. So Schulte two. Two for three on the day. Getting back on the hill. Low line run up and down for up number one. Go for the second. Go for the second. Go for the first. Up number two. Nice if they can get another one, two, three in. Slayable two for three. And we gotta do it. As no let's go down to five degrees. No errors. After five and a half. Chicago 8, New York 2. And Boston Detroit are next journeys, tied at 2 in the 10th. So Big Jeff Pepper takes the hill. Sam Murphy is over 2 on the day. And he'll draw a walk. So good start to the 6th inning for the Giants. It's a hard Devlin over 2. Strike 1 call. 1 1. Dribble is short and we won't get the one out of the second. They're not going to try to throw it. No throw to first. So they 
get the lead runner. Run on first we want the out for dollar. Run another count. Count goes to two and Very safe. So he misses the pitch Dallin does, but Dallin's in there with a steal. Fourth of the year. And I like the ticker for out number two. So the Senators lead the Naps. Six to four in the ninth. So Billy Gilbert is one for one. Got popping up behind the home, and this one's going to go back out of play. So we're going to lose Chase. We'll put a second. There's a first and now two. No hits, no, no, hits, no errors. errors. After six to the lead. Chicago eight, New York two. Chicago leads by six going into the top of the seventh. Everest two for three as we get goes back out there. Throw him out for up number one. Take her up now, open three on the day. That one's gonna get it over to again, up number two, so two quick outs. One, two, three, the third straight in. Chicago seven, after six and a half, Chicago eight, New York two. Indy seems to have settled down. However, the Giants' offense is still yet to show up today. Trail at 8 2, going into the home half of the seventh inning stretch time. And they can stretch, stretch out some runs here. So, the final score the Senators defeat the Naps 6 to 4. Continue to get now, and he's going to line these singles. So, what might be the spark they need here? This the pitcher beginning, he gets himself a hit. Goblin over 3 up now. Right one. Five ball to left. Shelton makes the catch for out number one. Browner now up for two. Ball one, going away. Ball ball, back out of play. He's going to pop one up to shortstop's calling it. So Tinker makes the catch for out number two. Bresnahan, two for two. Ball one, low, one one, and it should do it. Rounds out to second no one in. One in, no errors. After seven of the lead, Chicago eight, New York two. So it looks like Big Jeff Pepper is going to be in line for the win. The Giants and the Cubs can hold on. Casey one for three up against McGinnity. Ninety three pitches. Rounds up to Gilbert for out number one. Highlanders and the White Sox are tied at one and seven. And we'll now two to three, and he's getting a slow roller. Dallin gets it over first, and he's able to retire the slow run catcher of him. So Pecker up now. His first at bat of the season. 200 hitter. 40. Strikes him out, but he's going to go to first and get him out after he drops the ball. New York two. So we're headed to the bottom of the eight. Giants need to start doing something here. The end of now one for three against Pepper. He gets hit, so good start. The end will be all right. The midsection. Sam Merte is up now.
else I can play. Is up now over two. Sammy Strang. We get a spark off the bench here. Strang's 348 hitter on the season. With a home run, 10 runs batted, 7 runs scored, double and triple. 483 on base percentage. Count goes to 2 0. Move 1. 3 and 1. Full we'll count now as the runners will be off. Two outs. Jar walks out of local bases. So Kennedy up now. Oh man, we get a we get a pitch up from Kennedy here. Not much of a choice here. We get somebody walking to full count. Pinch hitting for New York, Frank. Taylor's 
Pitching for New York. Dummy. Taylor. Alright. Shelter. Yeah. 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 He's a pinch hitter. He's hitting 406 with six runs of that in 1332. Ball one. Another count. It's going to be a simple strike one. Strike gets tested right away. Throws him out. Ball in one to four. Strike one. Pops run up behind the plate. Play that. So, pull two to count. Fly ball to right. Brown comes in. Makes the catch. Brown for two. Stable two for four. Pops not behind the play. Just a hand. Not going to play. Which I will make another out. And that'll do it. No runs. No hits. No errors. After eight and a half, Chicago eight, New York two. So a tall task for the New York Giants. This is six runs to tie. Donlin will leave it off top of the order. Hold four on the day. Pepper's still out there, believe it or not. Now the count is going to take this last one. Strike one. Take it all. And throw a walk. So lead off walk. He's up George Brown off the three in the day. Ball one. So Feathers has trouble finding the strike sound. Two another count. Rebler. Over the second for one. Just get the lead runner. Bresnahan, two for three. One, one count. Foul ball on the right field line. In case he gets chased, but it's in the stands. Two and two to count. Full count now. This could, oh no, it's going to be an error by Tinker, so they're still alive. Could have been a double play there. So Martin's on the first and second from the game. Still a long way to go here. Ball one. Another count. Take one here. Strike. Take another one. Three and one. Take another one. And that'll load the bases. Sam Murphy is coming up now, over two. Foul ball on the left field line. This one's gonna stay up. And this one's 92% chance, so this we have to go with that one. Bill comes in the second. For Chicago, Carl Lundgren. Carl Lundgren comes in, he pitch for the Cubs. He's a starter. Got a record of 1 0. We only pitched two innings. The season he was 13 5. His opponents are hitting 143 against him. Giants are down in the last out. Our Devlin 0 4. Ball 1. Do another count. In the upper strike. And it's going to be a base hit. One run comes in, two runs come in, and our Devlin has a triple. So eight to five now as the Giants have put up a three spot. Still a long way to go, but take it one batter at a time. Dallin's over four on the day. Ball one. One and one to count. Down to the last strike now are the Giants. Pop right up behind the plate, and this one looks like it's going to stay in for it. And it is. And that's going to end it. As Chicago defeats New York by a score of 8 to 5.
being a white person it really was. Chicago is on a 10 game winning streak. Big Jeff Pfeffer picks up the win. He is now 1 and 0 on the season. Joe McGinnity is the loser. He is now 5 and 2 on the season. Time of the game 2 hours, 8 minutes. The Giants lose their third game in a row. Well, 19 and 8. Cubs improved at 23 and 6. Now, 3 games ahead. Pfeffer gets the. MVP, I don't know about that one. What do you think, Miss Maggs? I think this should be the Let's take a look. Let's see. That's pretty I guess he did well. Yes, he could be the MVP. Unearned runs. So all the runs for the Giants were unearned because of the errors. Two New York, two Chicago errors. Robach before he gets ejected. Arguing balls and strikes. Bump the Empire Juice. It might get a fan fine here too. Four and two thirds innings pitch. Four hits, two runs. Then the run, three walks. Pepper was big. Jeff Pepper was four innings pitched. Gets the win, one and zero. One hill, only one hill out though. I guess that's good for him. Yeah, I guess that could be the MVP. Three runs, then the run. Four walks though. ERA one point one three. Good stuff. McGinnity said he had great stuff, but his numbers don't show it. Although five of those were eight runs were unearned. Thirteen hits allowed though. Cubs. And not much really going on there for RBIs. It's kind of spread out. So, runs scored. Slago had two runs scored. And Hoffman a couple of hits and two runs scored. You know, a couple of hits there. As well as Evers. And Schulte. So, yeah, I guess the hitting was spread around. So, it'll give it. Pepper does, I guess, get the uh, MVP. Does deserve it. Not much going on for the Giants as they've managed only six hits. Resident had a couple of hits and an RBI. Devlin had a couple of RBIs, but not much other than that going on for the Giants as they lose their third in a row. So errors again. So again, that is third, Donovan is fourth, and Brown is twelfth. Your hot man airs for the Cubs. Not much else other than that. So that's going to be it. So let's check our standings and we'll call it a wrap. Giants fall to 19 and 8. Now three games behind the first place Cubs. So hopefully they can salvage it. Not sure if it's a three or four game series, so we can have sell what you want. It's only a three game one. If not, still a chance for a split if it is a four game series. So the White Sox and the A's are now down to the lead is down to one and a half games over the A's. And that's gonna be it. So thank you for joining. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. Co-host Mr. Maggs. Thank you for joining us. So take care and God bless. We'll see you in the next 1905 Dead Ball game featuring the New York Giants. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye.